Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg and today I'm going to tell you my 10 all-time favorite zero waste swaps that would be perfect for beginners and I hope that you'll enjoy them. Okay, so these are my favorite 10 things that I've changed. The 10 things that if I decided I just wanted to be like incredibly super wasteful from here on out, these are the 10 things that I would still totally do because I just love them so incredibly much. So the first thing that I've started doing is I started using my French press to make tea and I love it. My favorite tea has been this Far Leaves um, green tea, which I talked about in my winter faves. And I just love using a French press for tea because you put the tea leaves in and then they truly do get to like swirl all the way around the tea. They get to swirl all around the leaves and I just feel like it works so much better than using a tea bag. And I also feel like it works so much better than using one of the stainless steel like tea balls or the tea, um, the metal tea strainers, metal tea strainers. I think that the French press just works so incredibly well. I feel like cleanup is so much easier than with a tea bag or with one of the strainers, because as soon as you use it, then you're like, oh, where am I gonna put it? And now you don't have to worry about it because you just brew it and then you just pour it. It's perfect. Second favorite zero waste swap. This one is fairly unconventional, but I do believe my husband and I would both agree that our favorite zero waste swap of all so far has been the bidet attachment on our toilet. You couldn't pay me to go back to not having a bidet attachment on the toilet. It just makes everything so, so, so much better. And you really do really reduce the amount of toilet paper you use. So you're saving a lot of money, you're using less paper, and everything is much cleaner. By far, one of my favorite zero waste swaps, if you have not checked out a bidet attachment, I highly recommend it. They are very inexpensive, typically around $35. Sometimes they can go up to 70, but I don't think it's, too terribly expensive of an investment when you realize how much toilet paper you will be saving. You are bidet attachment paid for itself in probably about six months, which I think is, is awesome. Which also leads me to my third favorite zero waste swap, which has been switching to period underwear. So these are Thinks and I absolutely love them. They just make everything so much better. And when you combine your period with a bidet attachment, that is also just like a really like a really much nicer experience and i love not having to use any disposable products i feel like it's a lot cleaner it's way less messy and it's just really nice to actually just wear like a regular pair of underwear when you're on your period without having to worry about a pad or a tampon or anything else um, menstrual cups are also great i currently can't wear a menstrual cup now but I did like it. They also make great backup for the menstrual cup as well. And if you are interested in trying out Thinks, I am a Thinks partner and you can actually get $10 off with the code Catherine. I will leave more about that in the description below. But they have just made that time of the month that much better and you could not pay me to go back to disposable products. Now, my next favorite zero waste swap that I've made really, really, really surprised me. So I am left-handed and every time I write, with a ballpoint pen, I get pencil and ink all down the side of my hand. Anyone who's left-handed will know this struggle. And I thought switching to a fountain pen would be an absolute nightmare because you know it's ink. And so I just assumed that I just have ink all up and down my hand. But what I realized is you hold a fountain pen differently than you do a ballpoint pen. With a ballpoint pen, you hold it like this so you're, you're writing, you're running your hand across, but with a fountain pen, you actually hold it below. And so you don't have ink all down your hand. And I will never go back to using a regular ballpoint pen. With the fountain pens, you can buy them that have the converters um, like this. So that way you actually just draw your ink from an ink well. So that way you don't have to um, have any single plastic cartridges. So. Yes, one of my all-time favorite zero waste swaps. One of my next favorite swaps, which I really didn't expect because I really don't like doing laundry, is actually cloth napkins. I have loved using cloth napkins. I love putting them on my dinner table. They are so much easier to use than you would think. My husband and I sit at the same place at the table, and so we just leave our cloth napkins there, 
And once we are done eating, if our napkin isn't soiled, we just like leave it at our setting. And then as soon as it does get too dirty, then we just throw it in the base of the washing, washing machine. So it's automatically washed with the next load. So we don't really do a ton of laundry. These are my favorite cloth napkins. And <clears throat> when I first went zero waste, I didn't have like a, a huge amount of disposable income. I actually bought scrap fabric and I hand stitched these myself um, from a pair of a bit of scrap fabric that I found at the thrift store. And so yeah, I, these are still my favorite cloth napkins though. Like they mean a lot to me. I really like the pattern. I like that they're dark. So that way, you know, if they do get spaghetti sauce on them or something like that, you're not really going to see it. Um, and yeah, these are, these are, this is one of my favorite swaps. I, I think it's just a really nice addition to the dinner table. And I, I wouldn't ever go back to using paper towels. I think that they're really wasteful and you just pay a lot of money for them when you could use something so simple. I mean, like I, is it really that radical to wipe up a spill with like a cloth towel rather than a paper towel? Like it's, it's really not, it doesn't take any more effort. And I think it just looks a lot nicer. I think it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to have a cute cloth napkin than it is to have a paper towel. So it's another one of my favorite swaps. My next favorite swap also really surprised me, which is switching to a bamboo toothbrush. So Brush With Bamboo is one of my favorite brands. And, you know, I have, I'm not gonna say I have sensitive gums, but I definitely have, um, you know, I don't like the super hard bristles. And I would always go to the grocery store and I remember just like looking at all the toothbrush options. There are just so many toothbrush options. I could never remember what brand or toothbrush I liked and which ones were gonna to be too hard on my gums. And so the first time I tried this, it was just honestly the perfect toothbrush. I loved how harsh the bristles were and I liked the handle and I liked that it was fairly flat and it wasn't like super flashy and I just think it looks like also super aesthetically pleasing in the bathroom. So um, yeah, this is actually one of my, one of my favorite swaps and I, I've really, really enjoyed just knowing exactly what toothbrush I buy. Um, makes it simple. And of course their case is compostable and it comes in a compostable sleeve as well. So that way it's totally zero waste and you can compost it, a toothbrush at the end of its life. My next favorite swap also really surprised me. I think we're, I think we're seeing a theme here, right? Like all of these are things that surprised me. These are things that I wouldn't have expected to have been my favorite swaps, but it's something that I truly do love are these glass straws. One of my goals is to drink more water. I think a lot of us, that's a goal for a lot of us is to drink more water, make sure that we're staying hydrated. And drinking through a straw has actually allowed me to drink a lot more water. And I just really, really like it. Um, I don't like it enough to bring it with me when I go out. Like I'm perfectly fine just, you know, drinking from the rim of the glass if I go out somewhere. But I just, when I'm in my office, I just really like having the glass straw because it really helps me to consume all the water I should be for the day. And they're my favorite because they don't impart any taste. So stainless steel can sometimes taste kind of like metal. Bamboo can taste like bamboo, which is great if you're like drinking a tropical smoothie or something like that. But if you're just drinking water, I just really like glass because it is so neutral and it's smooth. And yeah, it's just by far, hands down, favorite reusable straw, the glass straw. And they're a lot more sturdy than you think. I have dropped this straw so many times. I've dropped it on concrete and it is intact. I'm very, very impressed with how durable it is. So this is another one of my favorite zero waste swaps, which is Snapware. I know that they have plastic lids, but I use them in my meal prepping all the time. I love that the bottom is glass and I can put it in the freezer. I can put it in the fridge. I can put it in the oven. I can do I could put it in the microwave. I could do pretty much anything I wanted to with this dish and it just makes my life so simple. Sometimes I even grocery shop in this dish. Um, it's such a nice addition, I think, to any zero waste kitchen. I used to use a mason jar for everything, but sometimes when you're just like cramming things inside of a mason jar, it just, it just doesn't work that well. And so having something that's square, of course I have much larger ones than this, but you know, it's just so nice, so nice for meal prepping. And I love that it's airtight and I like that it's just really easy. You can also stick it in a backpack. They're fairly easy to travel with. So this is one of my favorite zero waste swaps is using Snapware and I, I really can't highly recommend it enough. And then once again, this zero waste swap surprised me. 
<laughs> but it was one of my favorite ones that I did early on, which were switching to handkerchiefs. So when I met my husband, he actually carried a handkerchief. And I remember thinking, I don't, I don't think I felt strongly one way or the other about it. My dad always carried a handkerchief. And, you know, I asked him, I was like, so why do you use a handkerchief? Because I don't know many guys in their 20s that carry handkerchiefs around. It's just like not really a super common thing. And he said it prevented his nose from chafing um, because he had pretty bad allergies. And I thought, no way. So then I got some handkerchiefs and I tried it. And it's so true. Your nose will actually chafe less if you're using a cloth rather than a paper tissue. And then when you're using a paper tissue, oftentimes the paper will break off, get into your nose and cause you to sneeze. So it's actually making you sneeze and blow your nose more using a paper tissue than it is using a cloth one. So like I am hands down team handkerchief and I just love the collection that I found. I got some at an estate sale for like 25 cents a piece. And then I also was sent my great grandmother's handkerchief collection. And I think that they're all just so beautiful. They all have like embroidery on them or like flowers and they're so cute. You almost feel really bad about blowing your nose into them, but they've withheld the test of time of blowing your nose. Cause these are all like a hundred years old. So, oh my God, they really are almost a hundred years old. Whoa. That's really impressive. But yes, they're very nice. I really like them. And I just think they're so elegant to tuck into your bag or if you, if I'm going on stage or anything like that, you can easily just tuck it up your sleeve. So that way you have um, something to blow your nose or to wipe your eyes or anything. I just think that it's just really, really romantic to have a handkerchief as well. So love handkerchiefs. And then the last thing, the last thing, which I also talked about in my winter favorites video is bar soap. I mean, I think it's one of the most simple swaps that we can change to, uh, you know, buying a bar of soap versus body wash. I mean, it's like a really simple choice. You buy them, they typically come in, you know, a cardboard box. There's no packaging inside. Um, you can use it, you know, instead of hand soap, you know, I put it on the counter as hand soap. And I just, I really like bar soap. I think it's nice. I think they smell good. I think there's something that's like kind of luxurious about holding a bar of soap in your hand rather than using, you know, that plastic blue dyed body wash like i don't know i just think there's something really nice about having a bar of soap so i know that a lot of people are worried about them you know with germs and things like that but there have been studies done that show that they're really kind of unfounded claims and that there's really no harm in using a bar of soap so and sharing it with your family so yes that's uh that's another one of my favorite favorite zero waste swaps super simple great for a beginner i really hope that you've enjoyed this video I hope that you found maybe some insight into some favorite beginning zero waste swaps that you can pick up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or press that red subscribe button to be notified when my new videos are coming out. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video.